what is going on? That's not my intro. Yo, what is up? It is Brooke here, back with another YouTube video. So today, I am going to be talking to you guys about a crazy story time that happened um, in Florida. And I got left on the side of the road with my family. Um, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Press that bell button right down there to get notifications whenever I post. Um, and let's get right into the story. So, um, we were leaving to Florida, um, this day or whatever, not this day, obviously. And, um, our flight leaves out of Lubbock kind of late because I had to finish some stuff in Lubbock. And so my mom just made it later just so, like, we could finish. Um, and anyways... So, we weren't leaving out of Lubbock until, like, 7-ish. Well, we get to Dallas around, like, 8, obviously, because only one hour. Um, and we, um, like, go to our gate or whatever because we're supposed to, like, get on in two hours, which is quite a while. And then they're, like, plane delay, or it's, like, one hour or whatever. And then they're, like, plane delay, of course, like, go figure, our family plane delay. So I think it's another hour delay and we don't we don't get in to Florida until like 12:45 one ish and we get to Florida we're already like everybody's already like mad like ready to be at our hotel like we're going to Universal Studios in the morning we have like a VIP pass or whatever it is and that's at like 6 or it's like 9 in the morning or something that's whenever you're supposed to start your tour or something like that. And we don't get in to the airport until one. And mom's like, okay, so like we gotta go straight to the hotel, like get showers, go to bed. Well, we're sitting at like the carousel thing where they like send your luggage out. And don't mind that we literally have 21 bags, 21 bags, not counting like carry-ons so um 21 bags there's Cameron me Gavin Hallie Trey Kennedy my mom and my Grammy there's eight people 21 bags don't mind that we are also leaving um for 15 days for vacation so it's eight people 15 days that's a lot of days that's literally like two weeks um and so anyways we get to Florida and we go get go to like get our bags or whatever and they forget about our bags. Literally, they forget about our bags. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like could anything else happen? But don't worry, just just wait. So we are like sitting there for an hour waiting on our bags at the air at the airport and we leave there about well I say we get in there at like 1245 because we got there around like 1255 and we were waiting there from then until 150 I literally we left at 152 like I looked at my thing I was like we've literally been sitting in the carousel place for one hour waiting on our bags and everyone was like oh, what the heck like where are our bags so we are like walking out and we're like where's our guy like that we use the same like rental company anyways um it's called happy limos or something like that and we're like trying to find our guy and um what's it called we're like hey like where are you and he like tells us the wrong place so we like walk all the way down there with all 21 bags eight people are trying to carry 21 bags down because like no one at the airport no one's like there to help you with your bags at two o'clock in the morning sorry like just not happening so we like walk down there go and try to find him and he's not there of course and we're like you're not here and he's like yeah i am and we're like we're standing here like no you're not and then he's like oh actually i'm at the other end what like seriously we have 21 bags just take that in 21 we're like all like rolling with our legs all this and that okay so he we finally like get in the van and my mom like just literally shoves suitcases in this thing and 
were like in like one of those like vans well we're all like starving because we ate dinner at Picasso's before we left Lubbock and boom I just said where I lived it's fine who cares um I'm not cool enough for anyone to stalk, stalk me anyways um and so anyways um we ate food before we left and I was like like everyone was like we're hungry like it's two in the morning and we're still up and we're hungry and my mom was like yeah okay like okay and so we're like hey dude can you like go to uh like anywhere like to eat Whataburger McDonald's at this point we don't give two craps we just want food and so um and don't mind that we ate at like five and like anyways <laughs> so um he's like he doesn't respond and we're like like what <laughs> and then he like finally I guess he's like a McDonald's and like he's like can we go to McDonald's and we're like yes that's fine and so we get to McDonald's and there's two people working. Two people. Two people. This guy was like, well technically I'm not even allowed to stop or something like that. Or he was like, you have one stop. Because like whenever you pay for your trip you have one stop. And so mom was like, okay, like we'll be fast. Like it's fine. Like whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So we like, because normally McDonald's doesn't take how long it took so anyways we like go inside and there's like water all over the floor like it's gross we're just ready to get our food and leave like so we can go to our hotel go to sleep and like wake up the next morning like a normal human being well anyways we like go order and on our receipt it says we ordered at I think it was like 2 10 I think we ordered and we did not get our food until 2 like 50 250 everybody behind us got their food but we didn't until 250 we left that place like literally at like 250 I'm not even kidding I think it was like 251 was the receipt we were like Like, are you kidding? Like, are you, like, you've got to be kidding. So, we're like, screw it. Like, we just want to get home at this point in time. Like, we, like, we just, like, nothing else could go wrong as we think at this point in time. Well, we get back on the road and what's another, like, red flag is, like, these people like are weird every time someone picks us up from this company they are like strange people like they're like odd like so anyways we are in the van we are doing perfect i'm eating my pancakes i am was so hungry like literally i take a bite of my pancake just pour the syrup on my pancakes sitting in my lap i don't even care like there's probably syrup on my legs who cares at this point in time and we have a blowout. This van has a blowout. I'm like, thank you Jesus for keeping us safe because we could have rolled or something bad could have happened. So he pulls over to the side and we're on like the highway, like, like 80 miles an hour people are going, like we are literally going 80 I think. And we have a blowout, never had one, whatever. So we like pull over to the side of the road and this guy's like, I don't know what to do. And we're like, well, neither do we. Like, <laughs> like, what do you want us to do? Like, we don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. So I was like, like, can you change the tire? Like, how far are we away? And he's like, well, we're like five miles away. Of course, five miles away. Five. Like, Jesus, could you just not have gotten us those five miles? Seriously? So, this guy means to get out of the thing and goes, take all the luggage out. And there's this huge, huge, like, really steep ditch that has a lot of water in it and it's disgusting. Like, I can't even, ugh. I was grossed out by it. 
And he's like, I need you to take all your luggage out. And my mom's like, like, we're like, okay, like, what? Like, what's that going to do? But okay, we'll take it all out. Of course we said that. Uh, so we take it all out. We're all, like, out of the van. This guy is, <laughs> this guy is, like, there's, like, semi-trucks, like, passing us, going, like, 80 miles an hour, blowing our suitcases off, like, the freaking thing, like, going into the ditch. It was horrible. And my Grammy's at, like, the front of the van, like, praying to God something. Like, literally, I'm not even kidding. She was praying, like, dead serious. And then, like, this guy means to tell us, means to tell us he does not know how to change a tire. You work for a freaking bus, car, whatever, limo company, and you don't know how to change a freaking tire? <sighs> bless, bless up. Like, I don't, like, what? So my mom, oh, forgot to tell you. All of our phones were dead at this point. We just got off of a three-hour flight. We were just ready to get there. We didn't think any of this was going to happen. The only person's phone that was alive was my Grammys. And it had like 10%, maybe. And we were like, great. And he was like, well, uh, I'll try and call my boss. And mom was like, yeah, that, like, that would probably be a good idea. Like, probably, just maybe. And um, he's like, well, my boss is asleep. What? Like, your boss is asleep, and so, like, hammer call him. Do something. Like, we're stuck on the middle, like, in the, on the side of, like, a freaking highway, and you're meaning to tell me you don't know how to change a tire, and your boss is asleep, so you don't know what to do. That's what you're telling me? Okay. Like, so, <clears throat> we're, like, at this point, we don't know what to do. So my mom gets on YouTube, the wonderful, wonderful YouTube, but it didn't help us at this point in time, actually kind of did, um, and goes, well then I'll just change the tire. So my mom gets her YouTube out on my Grammy's phone, she's like looking up this thing, trying to use like the last 7% battery that my Grammy has to like try to figure out how to change the tire, and... They don't even have all the tools to change a tire. My mom's up underneath this thing trying to get the tire out from under the bottom of the freaking thing. And then they don't have any of the tools. They only have two things. And there's like four, four things that you needed or something. And my mom was literally livid at this point. I'm crying. Cameron is like, I don't know what to do. Like, my siblings are like freaking out. Like, at this point, we could freaking die. Like... The worst stuck on the side of the road. These people aren't moving for crap. It's been like an hour and a half-ish that we've like been sitting here trying to figure out what to do. And this guy means to pull out a cone. They have to put together a cone. And it's like maybe like this, this big, this wide. He puts that together for 30 minutes to put on the side that nobody even listens to and it ends up blowing away and someone runs over it. Seriously? So my mom's like, okay, like, I really don't think anyone's gonna pick us up from the side of the road, but like, peace, like, we're calling an Uber, we're calling a Lyft, whatever will pick us up. Like, at this point in time, we don't care. We just need something to like, take us to our hotel so we can like, go to sleep. Like, like normal human. Well, it's like four by this point, like 4.15, and we're still sitting on the side of the road. This guy's like over there doing whatever. So my mom calls an Uber, and the Uber call, like calls us and's like, where are y'all? Like, this is like a weird, I've never had, like, this is like a weird drop. Like, I can't figure out exactly where y'all are. The guy comes over to my mom and yanks the telephone, uh, the telephone, <laughs> the phone out of her hand and starts yelling at the Uber. <sighs> like literally I wanted to go and rip the guy's head off. Like I seriously did. And the Uber hangs up and is like, I'm not coming now. What? 
excuse me, what? Like, you're not coming now because this guy freaking yelled at you, this stupid lunatic that doesn't even know how to freaking change a tire and he works for a car company? Like, what? And then you're gonna yell at our Uber guy that's like willing to come and pick us up and he's like, sorry, like, I'm not coming anymore. And we're like, okay, wow. Like, actually disappointing. My Grammy's phone is down to like 3%, you know. So my mom gets on the lift and she's like, okay, maybe someone on here. Like, just trying to like, dropping pins at both of the places. Like, just trying to get anybody that will pick this like thing up. And my mom was like, like, I don't know, like, I don't know what to do at this point in time, like, and it comes around to, like, 4.45, and we're, like, exhausted, yelling at each other, Hallie slides into the ditch, and we have to, like, pull her out, it's, like, like, we can't even, like, Whenever I said like the ditch was like super full of water, it wasn't really. It was just nasty. And there was like gross water at the bottom of it. And it was just like, ew. Anyways, Hallie and Gavin are like freaking out. So my mom finally calls a lift because like someone like finally picks it up. It's the same guy. It's the same guy. And my mom was like, hey, like we're like this guy, like we're from out of town. Like, we're trying to go to Volcano Bay, it's a Universal Studios, like, like, it's over by that, like, it's one of their resorts, and we're on vacation, like, we don't know what to do, all of our friends are about to die, like, could you please just pick us up? <laughs> and he's like, okay, uh, like, I guess I'll try. Mom's like, what? Like, you'll try, or you're going to, or you're not going to, like, it's like, a yes or a no. And... So he like comes and he like backs up and finally someone comes to get us. He did. And um, people aren't like generous like they are in Texas like where they like pull over to like help you, you know, yeah, no. Everybody was like literally not even like going like swerving around to like not like you know like whenever like in the lane like next to the people that are like on the side of the road you're supposed to like go around. Yeah, no. Big semi trucks could like blow us freaking away and you know it would be completely fine and no no one would know <laughs> um and so anyways this guy is like I can't fit all that luggage in here like do I want me to take the luggage first and mom's like uh like I'm worried about the people more than I am the luggage but like uh no <laughs> and so he's like okay well I could take like half of the group and the other half, like I can go back and get the other half. Mom's like, yeah, that would probably be great because nobody else is going to pick us up on the side of the highway. I takes us to Volcano Bay where we're staying. We're staying at Cabana Bay. Um, it's the hotel that goes to Volcano Bay or whatever. You can see like the... Um, like the water park itself from the window and it was a great view it was five o'clock in the morning like 5 15 when we got there and then he had to go back and get all the rest of the luggage and the people i don't know what happened to that guy i don't know how he got like i have no idea how he even got home i don't even know if he's home safe i don't know he's probably he probably found some way like we were just tired of him like we were just ready to be at our hotel, like, okay. So, um, we end up g all taking showers. Like, my mom's a really big clean freak. Like, nobody can, like, go to sleep without showering or whatever. And so, like, we all, like, take showers, like, get in bed. And by the time we literally get in bed, like, the sun is coming up. And don't forget, we have VIP passes that my mom paid lots of money for the next day. <laughs> At 9 o'clock in the morning, like three hours after that. So my mom's like, like, I guess at this point, if we wake up, we wake up. If we don't, like, like, we don't. And so we all start waking up and, like, I look at my phone and it's, it's 11. <laughs> we missed our VIP passes. All we had was, like, the pass to, like, go in front of every line. That was the only thing we were able to use out of that. 
Um, we all got ready in like 30 minutes because we were like, what the heck, like, this sucks. So, pretty much nothing worse could have happened besides our like crews like drowning, like going under, like sinking. And thank God that didn't happen because I'm obviously sitting here. Anyways, that is my crazy freaking story about how we got left on the highway. Like, it was crazy. Um, I'm not like here to like bash that company or anything. They just suck. I won't, we won't ever use them again. Um, and my mom just went ahead and paid them. She was like, screw it. Like, I don't care. I just want to leave. So, anyways, and they're not in Lubbock, I don't think. <laughs> I think they're only in Florida. So, anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you like this story time. If you'd like to see more, comment down below because my family is crazy. We have so many stories we could tell. Just let me know if you want to hear them. And comment down below. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to do that. Please, 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 please. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, guys, so it's now about to be three, and our tire blew out. <laughs> I'm on Brooke! Yeah. <laughs> guys, this is what happened. <laughs> guys, update, guys. We do not have a tire, so we, <laughs> we are stuck here. <laughs> We officially made it to our hotel, hotel mm -hmm. after a few hours. So, update, we are safe and we are good to go. Cam, how do you feel about our night? Get the fuck out of my face. He is really angry. <laughs> Trey, how did you feel about our experience? Tired. He's tired. Okay, well, you heard it. Evan and Hallie, tell me what, what do you think about our night? Sleep. Sleep. It was horrible. Horrible, but look at these notes. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's angry too. Oh. Grammy, how do you feel about our experience? It was a bunch of malarkey, <laughs> malarkey, and baloney. <laughs>